My name is Anna. I'm 24 years old. I'm from Germany and I'm currently studying at the East MT in Berlin in Germany. And what I did before is I did a bachelor in business psychology in Cologne at the Cologne Business School. And afterwards, I decided to go to Munich to work there for two years in the mobility sector. So I worked for um, a startup of Audi. It is called Audi Business Innovation in Munich. And afterwards, I started to work for a mobility startup, also from Audi, which is called Mobico. And um, afterwards, I decided that I want to do my master. And um, therefore, I decided to go to the ESMT in Berlin. And now I'm here and I'm really happy to study at the ESMT. So I think the, the biggest reputation from the ESMT is, of course, their international environment, because we have a lot of great universities in Germany, but most of them are really focused on Germany because most of the students uh, are German. But for the ESMT, it's quite different because there are international students from all over the world. And what I really want to do after my studies at the Cologne Business School, I really wanted to go international. And therefore, I decided to go to ESMT because we have a lot of great networking opportunities there with international professors, international students, international faculty. So this is um, a really, really great opportunity for us to expand our knowledge there internationally. Basically, my decision for uh, studying or starting a master was that um, for my studies at my bachelor, so I studied uh, business psychology, I was quite focused on the marketing area. And I decided that for my next jobs, I really want to expand my management knowledge because when I want to move ahead and step um, or move, move forward, I really need to have management knowledge for taking a leadership position, for example. So therefore I decided that I needed more knowledge also in the, for example, the financial management area or how to really organize a company, how to do human resources or how to set up a business plan, how to organize the company. So therefore I decided that I really want to do my master's in the management area. And the ESMT was perfect uh, for that because they offered this master management and there you could focus yourself into four areas. So basically we have a quantitative track and an innovative track. And I decided to go with the innovative management track. And for the innovative management track, we have two specializations. So the first one is global and digital strategy. And the second one is entrepreneurship and innovation. And I decided to go with entrepreneurship and innovation because there we have the possibility to take part in a startup challenge where we were able to build up our own startup with a real business plan, real money, real content, and also to, to focus more on the innovation process of the digital transformation of really like bringing a business to the digital transformation really change it in itself. Um, so therefore, um, the ESMT was the perfect uh, possibility for me to do my master's and also to expand the knowledge, yeah. Career service is a really important partner for the ESMT, a really important component, because career services offers us the possibility to really brainstorm with them together on our own career. And this is the most important part because I mean, this is the future for all of us. So um, I decided to go to Microsoft for my internship. And um, I brainstormed with the career service team about my future career. And um, I just let them know that because my previous knowledge was basically all in the mobility sector. So I really was focused on the finance sector and the mobility sector. And therefore, I really want to try something new. And I discussed with them, okay, what are my possibilities? Which sector could be interesting? Which company could be interesting? And then we quickly found out that Microsoft, with a background in the IT sector, could be really an important part for my career. And then we decided, um, okay, how could I apply for them? What do I need? And they really helped me with the interview process, the preparation part, and really like the elevator pitch. So how could I present myself to them? What is what is relevant? How could I improve my CV, of course? Which components are relevant in the CV and which could be taken off? And um, yeah, it was a really important component. And of course, afterwards, there's also like the long term planning. So right now I've finished my internship at Microsoft, but I'm uh, continue to working as a working student. So we are in, so I'm with the career services in yeah, contact every time just to discuss, okay, how could my future look like? What do I need? Um, and what could come after the ESMT, of course.
So I think the basis for a MIM or the basis of our MIM and manage or master and management um, program is that you get prepared for not only the knowledge itself, but also for building your professional knowledge, but also your personal knowledge. So what we learn in ESMT is not only the, the skills we need for doing management, but also the skills we need for being a leader. So that we, we have skill workshops, for example, where we are able to expand our skills for being a leader. And also we have workshops on the topic of how to build your professional network or how to do Scrum, like a Scrum workshop. So we have a lot of possibilities to also expand our knowledge besides the real study programs of financial management, marketing management, of course. So that in the end, we're prepared for all kind of. So that we are able to manage, but also how to be a good leader for a company or for a small team, of course. Um, and I think this is really the most important part because in my previous bachelor, I was able to learn a lot also in the area of business psychology, but I was never able to learn how to really lead a team. And therefore at the ESMT, besides the studies, we also have a lot of like um, student initiative programs. So for example, currently I'm the co-chair of the Digital Future Summit which is a student-led organization and we are able to organize a once in a year event every year in, Janu uh, in July. And this is also the possibility for me to really step into the first role of being a leader because I'm now able to, to lead a team of 48 students. And this is amazing because I never did that in any internship before, of course, and then never in, in, non, in not a role at all. So now I'm really, really happy to have this first leadership role and I think this is also the most important part of the ESMT that you have your studies, your student initiatives, your network and your workshops and the skills that you learn. So in total, you have like a full bubble of all that you need. For the Digital Future Summit, I'm the co-chair and we also have the chairs. So we're a group of two students, so Robert and I, we're the chairs. And basically, of course, we work together for leading the team. So I'm not alone. This is really good because when you need some brainstorm and really divide the task, how could you lead the team? It's really important to have something by uh, somebody by your side. But besides this, we also have the co-chairs of the last year and they are also like mentors for us. And we also have our alumni network where all of the previous chairs and previous students are included and they're there to help us when we need help, of course. But also we can reach out to any professor at ESMT when we need help. So for example, at, for the Digital Future Summit, it was really important for us to learn how to pitch our summit to possible partners and of course the possible universities. And therefore we, uh, we reached out to our marketing professor and asked him if he has time for learn ours how to pitch and of course he was he was willing to support us and now we set up like a call and a brainstorming session how could we improve our pitching skills so um all of the professor also really like helpful to support us and to learn all of us are really international and not have the exact rate in mind but i know that we have like I think 19 different um, cultures and nation uh, nationalities. And all of us are in the age between 22 and 26. And uh, what I also was not, um, yeah, what, what I was not aware of, that there are also a lot of women studying at the ESMT, because I know that the Masters in Management program is somehow m more attractive to men because we can go to the financial management area and of course, they are not like this woman specific courses as, for example, business psychology, but we have, we have a lot of women, so it's quite balanced. So the rate between men and women and this is also really great. And in the case of learning from fellow students, um, I really experienced this when we have uh, group work and case analysis, because when you work in a team and also in a, in a like a small group, you really experience how it is to, to learn from the others, because every one of us has a specific area where they're coming from. So for example, we have mechanical engineers, we have geography students before, we have business psychologists, we have people from the medicine area, so a lot of different backgrounds and all of us coming together for solving business cases and doing group works. And we learn from each other so much because each of us has a specific area where they're really good in. So I'm not the best in, for example, organizing 
I don't know, or like building up really a financial business plan. This is not my strength because I was studying business psychology before. So therefore I was able to learn so much from all of the other students that are really like do this in their bachelor studies before and they're really knowledgeable. So we can learn from each other every day. <laughs> the German component is still very strong. So I'm not 100% sure how, how many students we have, but I think that we have at least 50 students who are German. So um, of course, it's also quite interesting for the Germans to join the ESMT because the Germans could also have the international scope, but they could also like represent uh, Germany to the international students, which is also quite relevant. So, for example, I know that I have around like 10 German friends right now at my university, but also like, I don't know, 10 international friends. So it's really mixed. But when international students come to us, they also like explain us every day that they're really, really happy because they could connect to international students, but also to German students because it's quite mixed and quite balanced. So um, I think that it's um, a great opportunity to study also in Germany and also get in touch with Germans because they could also help the internationals because I know it's really hard. For example, when you go to another country, of course, it's always a big challenge. But when you are in Germany and you have these German students in your cohort, you can always reach out to them also because for, I don't know, the reasons um, for like the government part that you want to have an apartment, where could I get this? Or health insurance documents, always quite tricky. But there are a lot of Germans that could support here. Maybe I can explain how I first get to know the ESMT because for my um, job at this startup, so at Mobico, which is the startup of Audi, um, I was able to take part in an um, education or in an um, executive education program from the ESMT. So I took part in the Emerging Leaders Program, which is a program designed by the ESMT for young professionals to prepare them for take on the first leadership roles. And this was the first time I got in contact with the ESMT. So it was in the time between bachelor and master. And then I go to ESMT and I took part in this program. I was really amazed by this professors and also by the learning culture from ESMT. And then I just informed myself about any master possibilities at the ESMT. And then I get to know the Masters and MIM program. So the master management program. And I was really amazed by the international scope. And then I decided, okay, I really want to take the chance to apply for the MIM program at ESMT. And um, I, I mean, my expectations were really, really high because I knew the ESMT before from the, from the Emerging Leaders program. And I really hope that I get like really good professors, of course, and that the curriculum is really good. But then I went to ESMT in September last year and my expectations were even, I don't know, they were, they were um, not even high enough because I know that the ESMT is such a great university because what most impresses me is that they also have a lot of programs besides the real study program. So for example, as I said before, the Digital Future Summit, but we also have so much student initiative programs. Like we have a woman in leadership club for young women to come together and to really talk about women in leadership experiences and how could we improve ourselves in this area. And this is like a really, really close group of, of young women to support each other. We also have the Net Impact Club of supporting the uh, sustainability aspects of the ESMT. And um, we have so many great clubs and initiatives and all of us are able to support there in any kind of, and this is also what impressed me the most and what I didn't expect that there are like so much possibilities next to the real study program. And this was really, really amazing for me to join all of these programs. The Digital Future Summit, of course, and I'm also part of the Women in Leadership Club. And um, I mean, every year there are students who found new programs, new clubs. So I think that last year we founded a new consulting club, which is called ACI Consulting Club, where students come together to, um, yeah, start up or like to build up first consulting project with real companies and to really experience how to how to be a good consultant, how could we improve there? And I think this is also a really, really great component of ESMT besides the study, the study programs, yeah. 
I think what also could be really interesting for, for you, for the students out there, um, that the ECMT also has the possibility um, to offer like an exchange semester. So for example, when you're interested in also studying abroad next to the ECMT, we have a lot of partner universities where you could apply for an exchange semester. I did the same and um, I applied for uh, doing my exchange semester next year in May at the IE Business School in Madrid. And this is also like a great possibility for us to also ex like expand our network next to the ESMT and also to engage with other universities and to study abroad, of course, because when you're not or when you were not able to do an exchange semester in your bachelor studies at the ESMT, you will get this opportunity to really do this semester abroad. And I don't remember all of our partner universities, but as I said before, we have the IE Business School in Madrid. We have the University of Singapore, we have the Copenhagen Business School, and um, we have a university in um, Canada. So a lot of really, really great universities. So a lot of possibilities to also do this. And I'm really excited for this, um, for this exchange semester. And it's, it also depends how long you want to do it, because we have the possibility to do it from six weeks up to, I think, three months. So in my case, um, I'm really, I'm really happy that I could decide to only do it for six weeks because I have the Digital Future Summit in July. So I was able to really like build up this timeline for myself specifically. So I could decide, okay, in May, I want to go to Madrid for six weeks. Then I can, can uh, come back to Berlin for my Digital Future Summit to really organize this on-site event, of course, also really important. So you're really flexible in organizing this and um, also a great opportunity. Mm -hmm.